Welcome to the Eradicator, as everyone, I am your host, the Eradicator, and in this video we will be talking about Vulcan and its implementation into games, and for that we will be using a game that has recently integrated this technology into its engine, and that game is Transport Fever 2. First, to understand why I chose Transport Fever 2 as an example, you must understand what kind of game Transport Fever 2 is. Transport Fever 2 is a simulation game that puts you into the shoes of some transportation administrator of a transport company in charge of a particular region. And just like with most simulation games these days, Transport Fever 2 makes sure that every single actor in the game, whether it is a local citizen or a vehicle, which at the start of the game is not an issue, but as we accumulate hours, cities expand, business, businesses grow, and our computers then get to simulate tens of thousands of actors at the same time, which can can have a dramatic toll on the overall performance of the game. And this is something that I have experienced myself with this particular title despite having a pretty decent gaming ring at my disposal. The footage you are seeing here in the b-roll was recorded with an MSI GE75 Raider equipped with an RTX 2070, 32GB of RAM and 7i7990s. The only two games I have which regularly cause me issues are Star Citizen, and that's not even a game yet, it's still an alpha stage, and Transport Fever 2, as <laughs> you, know, you probably have guessed right now, is the other title. To give you an idea of the issue, when I reach late game in a free game, which is basically a sandbox game in which I am free to do whatever I want in the map, the game slows down so much that there isn't much difference anymore between the fastest and the slowest game speed available. Now, let's have a look at the game developers' communique to see what they have to say about how Vulcan is going to help the game. They say, and I quote, The Vulcan graphic API update from Windows and Linux is now available to Vulcan is a modern cross-platform graphic library, and the now added support can lead to significant rendering performance improvements over, uh, over OpenGL, especially on modern hardware. Now, the devs also added that support of the game will continue over the next couple of months, which is always good to hear or read in this case. Now, that being said, I am glad to report that I have indeed noticed some improvements as I have played the game after installing the update. First, the textures of the game do look a little bit better, especially water, and the lights of the trains also seem a little bit brighter. Now, of course, that is quite trivial, but it is still nevertheless important Important to acknowledge. Now, what has really improved, however, is how the game performs now compared to how it used to be at a later stage of a free game, and I am happy to report that it is now capable of smoothly running at low and medium speed, which is already a considerable amelioration. I still can't see any difference between medium and fast speed, though, but at this stage, there isn't just so much that's happening in the game that it doesn't make much of a hindrance. Now, I also noticed that my computer is less noisy and requires less fan power to cool down, which is also another indication that the modern hardware that I am using is subject to a lesser workload, thus indicating further that we are indeed seeing a gain of performance. So there you have it guys, a concrete integration of Vulcan in a game resulting in better noticeable performance. This is personally the first time that I am experiencing Vulcan, but perhaps you have as well. And if that's the case, please let me know in the comment section down below which game that you play has recently benefited from Vulcan and how this has affected your overall experience. And that is all for this video, guys. If you think that I did a good job, please do hit those like and subscribe buttons as the channel is still just getting started and I really need your support to make it grow. I'll see you guys on the channel tomorrow for more content. This is The Eradicator. I'll see you guys later. This video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private Discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts at just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching. This is The Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.